I wanted to build my shop so that it'd be really comfortable to work in. I just moved to Southern Oregon from Southern California and there's a considerable difference in temperature. 70 degrees in Southern California and 20 in the winter in Southern Oregon. And I wanted to be able to work in this shop until I took my last breath. And who knows who's going to work in here after I'm gone. Maybe my daughter or some other carpenter or woodworker. So I wanted to build it responsibly. I put in an insulated radiant slab for the same reason. To build responsibly, not just for my lifetime, but for the lifetime use of the building. To ensure the building will be energy efficient, I used a lot of modern materials, like Huber's zip system for the wall and roof sheathing. We're seeing more and more new products that are supported by a full installation system. And that's what I got with zip sheathing. The sheathing, the acrylic flashing tape, and all the tape application tools and installation instructions. On the walls, we installed Zip R sheathing to eliminate thermal bridging between the studs and the sheathing. Zip R sheathing has a layer of half inch insulation glued to the interior surface of the sheathing, which also seals the exterior envelope against any air leakage. My new home is in Southern Oregon, and R sheathing meets Oregon's new drainage plan code requiring a 70% drainage rate. Zip R panel, like Zip roof sheathing, has a sandy granular surface which provides a 90% drainage rate on the walls and a non-slip surface on the roof. But I'm not stopping with the sheathing. I'm also installing Benjamin Obdike's home slicker on all the exterior walls, even between the fascia and the subfascia. With pine siding and trim, I know I'll need the additional diffusion behind the trim and siding. But more on that later. I installed R sheathing to improve the R rating of the 2x4 walls too. They're framed on 24 inch centers with stacked trusses and I'm insulating those walls with closed cell foam to get the maximum R rating possible. The zip tape goes down very quickly. The dispenser that Huber Engineered Wood supplies with their zip tape product, which is what you use both on the zip roof and the zip wall, is ideal for this job. It allows you to put this tape down just lickety split. Make sure though that you use the J-roller that's supplied with the kit too. If you don't use the J-roller, then the tape won't adhere properly to the acrylic coating on the zip wall and the zip roof. Use the J-roller and you'll never have any leaks. That tape will adhere permanently. It'll bond molecularly with the zip wall and the zip roof. 